Good morning, church family. Pastor Dan here. And to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. When something is created, there's always a creator. That's a simple law that we follow. There's always something that creates something to make it. Things don't just appear into existence. Take this photo frame, for example. To create this photo frame, which I put a photo in, there needs to be first an idea. Now, then there's a designer who would design the different types of photo frames. And then from there, you have somebody who creates it, brings the bits of timber and, and, and that together and makes the photo frame. If this photo frame simply just appeared into existence from an idea uh, or even a design, it would defy the natural laws that on earth. It would defy the natural laws that um, bound to what we, what we see and what we experience. The same is with creation of the world. So let me draw you to Colossians 1, uh, starting from verse 15. It says, Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. For through him God created everything, and in him and in the heavenly realms and on earth. He made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities in the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else, and he holds all creation together. Christ is also the head of the church, which is his body. He is the beginning, supreme, over all who rise from the dead. So he is the first in everything. For God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ. And through him, God reconciled himself, reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. It's a great passage here as it frames Jesus' involvement in creation. See, Jesus was at the creation of the world when we read in Genesis that God created the heavens and the earth. This God was the three persons, God the Father, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus were all active there within creation. These three persons played a part and continue to play a part to be active in our creation. This letter reminds us of that very thing, that everything was created through Christ and for Christ. So as you go, and go in the world and as you read the scriptures and try and understand the story, this Colossians passage puts things into perspective that everything was created through Jesus Christ and for Jesus Christ. Jesus wasn't an afterthought of creation uh, based upon sin, but in fact he was there and present already. And it also demonstrates that God was not absent, that he was not absent at creation, that God, he was active, he was working through it. And so Jesus, who we pray to, who, we, who has authority on heaven and in earth, who created all things and through him these things were created has the authority to be active in our world today as he was in creation. So remember that as you go into your working week. Let me pray for you. Lord, we thank you for, for being active in creation. Lord, the three persons in one, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we, we thank you that they were active in creation, creating this world in which we live. Lord, we thank you that they are still active we thank you that you're still active in this world, sustaining and giving this world strength. Lord, we pray that you'll be able to use us as your creation for the work of Jesus Christ. Lord, use us in this world for everything that you do. Lord, help us today to remind us of creation. Amen. We keep walking with God. Talk to him. Let him talk back as he read the Bible. And when he does speak to you, trust and obey. Observe something that God's created uh, today and, uh, and, and see if you can recognize and, and thank God for that thing. And keep looking for opportunities to bless others.
I'll see you soon.